Some companies are under anti-money laundering laws that requires you to do some know your customer or know your business checks. So we have the resources ready to do that. And if you're not under anti-money laundering laws, you can maybe still find some of our resources helpful, uh, as I will show you on the next slide. So a typical anti-money laundering process involves retrieving additional info after an authentication. So typically the address, a politically exposed person, and sanction status. What you need is dependent on national anti-money laundering laws, so you can check that out for uh, your market. So let's take a look at a demo of this as well. Uh, a typical integration process here is that you have your backend in step one, and you connect that to Synicut's information service API. And that API is connected to numerous data sources. And we standardize and normalize that data and then send it back to you. We'll take a look at this in a Postman demo. So what we'll do right now is to take that personal ID we got from the authentication. We know that it's an Norwegian person. And then we'll send just those two information points into the Synicat Information Service API and then take a look at the output. So what we want is the address. We want maybe some nationality. Uh, and then we also want to check the politically exposed person and sanction list. So let's move over to Postman. Uh, I'm in this collection right here called Scenic Out Information API in our DTP platform. Uh, I'll just get a new access token here. You will find uh, information and a quick start guide on our developer pages on how to do this. Uh, then we'll go to the basic endpoint under persons. What I'm doing here is just passing in the identity number we got from the authentication and then specifying the country. So uh, Norway in this case. Then I'm clicking send. And the response is down here. Uh, this is from the Norwegian government registry. Um, it would look the same if you want to do it for Sweden, Finland, Denmark, for example, or a lot of different uh, countries, actually. And then it would just change this country code. Um, we can see we got name back. We get some birth information. We got uh, yeah, citizenship. Uh, permanent address we get here, and um, we also can see which source we get it from. So this is just a test uh, person. So you can contact us if you want to know exactly what kind of information you will get back. So that was the address. Let's also do a politically exposed person and sanction check. So I got into this screening collection here, this um, get request. Then we're doing the exact same thing. We're passing in the ID number. We're saying it's an Norwegian person. And we also want to check the PEP and sanction status. So let's uh, send this. And what we get back is that this uh, person, it's also a test person, is on the PEP list politically exposed person list. And we can see that we have a high certainty of uh, searching for the right person based on what the information we passed in. So it's 100% because of uh, the personal ID is very certain in this case. All right, going back to the slides. So we have a wide range of um, data categories. Uh, where you can do different kind of lookups. What we did now was for individuals only, basic info and also PEP and sanction list. You could also do address validation and finance checks. And for businesses, uh, typically know your business uh, screening cases, you can do a lot of different business checks in a wide variety of markets. 
uh, as you see an example of uh, with all the different data sources we have. Uh, and we have uh, also a lot that's not shown on this uh, slide.